Welcome back. In this section, I'd like to take a closer look at some of the cytokines just to kind of review and put things together. So let's talk first about those interleukins and those helper T cells. So as you know, we had that macrophage that was exposed to whatever the androgen was, ingested it, broke it up, took a little piece of it, attached it to an MHC protein on its surface, and then the, the T cell could recognize it. Um, so the T cell binding to the antigen in the MHC2 receptor on the macrophage, which is now antigen presenting cell that activates the whole T cell sequence. And so this is a helper T cell. Now, that antigen presenting cell secretes interleukin-1 once it has the antigen binding to its MHC2 receptor. And that stimulates that helper T cell and activates it. So once that helper T cell has been activated, it's going to be producing interleukin-2. And interleukin-2 has multiple effects. The first effect is autochrome right back onto that helper T cell that made it. And that causes, that helper, causes the helper T cell to undergo mitosis. So we are now going to have a clone of helper T cells against that specific antigen that it bound to originally to start the process. In addition, interleukin-2 is going to be activating cytotoxic T cells so that we have a good cell mediated immune reaction as well as interleukin-2 crosses over to the dark side and activates B cells so we have a robust production of plasma cells and all their antibodies. So we have lots of humoral or antibody mediated immunity. So interleukin one from the APC stimulates the helper T cell. When the helper T cell gets activated, interleukin two from the helper T cell stimulates helper T cell division as well as activating B cells and T cells to all join in the fight. So it's impossible just to have T cell immunity by itself because when that helper T cell gets turned on and releases interleukin-2, that automatically crosses over and gets the B cells involved. So what are the effects of this? When we look at our helper T cell here being activated, the interleukin-2 goes on, has its effect on both helper and cytotoxic T cells. And so we have this robust immune response occurring. So we have amplification occurring going on here. Now, let me tell you about another role for interleukin-2 and interferon we haven't talked about. When we have that activated helper T cell, it's going to secrete interleukin-2 as we talked about for your B cells and the T cells but it also has an effect on macrophages in that it makes the macrophages become activated and they can release chemicals to create a killing cell nearby. The other thing that that activated helper T cell does, which we haven't talked about previously, is it releases interferon gamma. Now notice, this helper T cell was never infected directly by that antigen, that virus. That happened into the macrophage, which be, or whatever cell, dendritic cell, became the antigen presenting cell. But that activated the helper T cell, and now the helper T cell produces interferon gamma which then travels to nearby natural killer cells and activates them. And so activated natural killer cells actually do positive feedback to release even more interferon as well as destroying and preventing um, cells from being um, destroyed by that antigen. So it's pulling non-specific effects into our specific immune response. So 
to look at kind of this big picture of what's happening here. We have our antigen presenting cell with the antigen attached to the MHC class II receptor molecule. Okay, that activates the helper T cell with a little bit of help of interleukin-1 being released from the macrophage. And so that affects the helper T cell. The helper T cell then is going to be releasing the interleukin-2 as a cytokine. And so that has positive feedback to make more helper T cells releasing even more interleukin-2, as well as activating cytotoxic T cells, as well as B cells. In addition, activated T cells produce tumor necrosis factor, which increases the cytotoxicity, as well as interferon, which activates the macrophages and um, the natural killer cells. So as you can see here, everything works in concert with everything else. Nothing is by itself. So it's real important you make some kind of concept map so you can see where all the interactions are between everything. Thank you once again for really concentrating on this part on the immune system. I know it's a lot of moving pieces, but once you get it, you realize how freaking fascinating this is and how amazing your body is doing this stuff 24-7 while you are sleeping. Thank you, and I'll see you in class soon.